Hi, uh, investors. Um, another video, uh, and this time about Bitcoin. Um, my current exposure to Bitcoin is uh, 70%. Bitcoin around $1,100 again. Uh, first about the price. Uh, the price uh, indeed did correct um, from uh, when I made the uh, uh, warning about the Bitcoin correction. It did correct from the $1,150 where, where it was um, to uh, $800, uh, but now it has gone back to $1,100. This is not, uh, this. Uh, um, I think that uh, it will continue to go up now because it was not a strong crash. Uh -huh. Typically when it peaks out, it crashes strongly. Uh, you have a very strong flash crash. Uh, that was the case in 2011, April, um, and that was the case also in, uh, sorry, in 2011, uh, June was it or something, I don't know the month, but it was the case also this year in, um, um, at the start of the year in April 2013, um, within two days it went from 266 to 50, um, so um, the fact that it didn't crash hard means that um, it isn't over, and uh, uh, if it isn't over, it means that it will probably go up, uh, continue to go up parabol parabolically. So I think chances are high right now that it will go to um, uh, either thousand, uh, uh, somewhere between thousand five hundred and three thousand uh, US dollars. Uh, and uh, and also I made a small mistake about um, about uh, how low it will go in the flash crash. Uh, I said to the 200-day moving average, which is around $200, but actually that's not true. Uh, in the flash crash, it does not go to the 200-day moving average, but um, it goes considerably higher. But after a few months, it ends up touching the 200-day moving average. But in the meantime, that one is going up also a lot. So um, actually, I think the flash crash will go to uh, not 200, but uh, around 500, maybe 400. Um, and since it just went to 800, that was not it, I think. So I think uh, typical uh, Bitcoin does, uh, it puts everybody on the wrong uh, foot. Uh, so the wrong foot would be that it continues to go up now uh, to maybe 2000, maybe even maybe even $3,000. Um, and so it, uh, it does the same as in April this year and um, and in 2011, meaning that the price goes not to 550% uh, above the 200-day moving average, but it goes to 750%, 800% above the 200-day moving average, even maybe 1000% above the 200-day moving average. Um, so, and uh, by that time, uh, all uh, bears will have given up uh, and thinking that this thing never goes down. And uh, so uh, the price will go so high because there are still a lot of bears today, still a lot of people thinking it will go down, also on the Bitcoin forums. And, um, and um, yeah, um, so that, uh, so uh, they will end, uh, first they must also, um, how do you call that, um, uh, capitulate huh? uh, and buy. And then uh, that will be the final push up um, into um, yeah, crazy highs and uh, after that you will get a flash crash uh, very likely uh, because uh, I've noticed uh, actually um, a lot of weak hands have, have already entered Bitcoin today um, I'm, I'm asking people always when I go out uh, if they know about Bitcoin surprisingly a lot of people here uh, do know about Bitcoin these days uh, people that are not into uh, gold or, or into investing, like just normal people. Many have indeed not put down money, but some have actually uh, put down money already, uh, but ha have clearly weak hands. Uh, they are buying, selling, uh, afraid it will crash. Um, and uh, and so, so um, yeah, um, these people will not hold uh, and they will sell again. So... Um, I'm really sorry for these people because uh, up until today they have profit, but they will likely end up making a very painful loss with Bitcoin uh, because, um, yeah, that's really um, that's really not the way to do this. Eh? Uh, buying um, when it 
that's going parabolically and then planning to sell um, uh, before you make a loss that will not work eh? mm -hmm. in bitcoin uh, the, the crash is so quickly and that was not what we have well we have seen it a little bit now when it went from 1050 to, to 800 i think it was only one two hours but um but uh, the flash crash will go even faster and so probably somewhere between two thousand three thousand dollars it will start crashing to 500 eh, in a few hours and you can and the exchanges will be down uh like forget it that you can sell it eh? so 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 um so yeah uh, that's why i'm what i think it's always wise to make the decisions based on the fact that it may go up a lot but it may also go down a lot and you're unable uh i and your position eh, stays the same eh? so that's why i always put in bitcoin value ten dollars uh, to check what is my portfolio then eh? and um, if it's still good then i'm all right eh? if it's still acceptable eh? then i'm all right but if it's not acceptable i sell some bitcoin eh? so um and um so the way to do this with bitcoin eh, um, if you want to be successful and i've had that learned that the hard way i lost half my bitcoins is you buy eh? you understand the fundamentals and the potential here eh? if you don't you will make losses eh? so you must understand the fundamentals why when it goes down to 10 that you can still hold that you don't have to sell eh? and the fundamentals is that there is a fundamental value in bitcoin eh? bitcoin like is the only thing that like if you want to buy drugs online for example you cannot do it with anything other than bitcoin eh? so that's the fundamental value eh? you always need it some people will always need it eh? uh, so 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 that's why you hold on even if governments go hard on it make it illegal everywhere there is still fundamental value eh? so that's why eh? Uh, if you understand that that you can hold even when it goes down to very low values and if that would ever happen that if you have these fundamentals that you know that okay uh, you can buy a little bit more at ridiculous low prices and very likely you will do very well so 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 you and if you have these fundamentals you can buy some at the current high relatively high prices uh, because you will not sell out at a loss eh? that's very important uh, the way to do this is to um, um, with Bitcoin you buy some uh, as my opinion eh? you buy some today if you don't have any uh, you keep cash on the sideline because a correction to $500 is likely then you buy the rest you can work in increments eh? you buy some at 800 some at 600 some at 400 the last batch probably eh? Uh, if it never touches uh, 400 okay you didn't buy the last batch but that's all right because it goes up again you make profits and you have some cash remaining that does not go into bitcoin anymore that's fine um so um uh, but the way to do that with bitcoin is um uh, buy and hold uh, meaning uh, uh what you buy today you don't sell uh, when you think it will crash eh? because you could be completely wrong eh? um, and um, it's important that you keep the bitcoins eh? and even when the value goes up down doesn't matter you only sell when it has tenfolded when it has started when it delivers what it why you put the money in initially you put the money in because this has enormous potential eh? and you only start securing locking in profits when you realize that potential eh? and so you wait for a 10 folding and only then you sell 10 percent or 20 percent of the bitcoins not too much but enough so that you for sure have your initial investment back and you can even double up and have a uh, and have like a hundred percent profit on your initial investment you take that out meaning you sell only 20 percent of the coins you keep 80 percent eh? And you do the same if it then falls again that's how you create security and how you also can become rich with bitcoin 
and that means that you need to drop the idea to balance your portfolio that's the mistake I have made eh? when Bitcoin becomes too big in my portfolio I would sell some off and so I would want to keep it below 30% of my total portfolio and very quickly you sell way too many Bitcoins um, but the consequence is that eh, of the strategy to only sell when it then falls the consequence is that it becomes very big in your portfolio currently for me it's 70 percent bitcoin eh? so that means that if bitcoin currently goes from the current thousand thousand to say a flash flash crash to 400 yeah that means i'm gonna have a lot of losses because 70 percent is of bitcoin so i will lose more than half of my capital like i will lose half of the more than half of the 70 percent let's say i lose 40 percent in a flash crash eh? so that means that i lose 40 percent of my total capital that's uh, an enormous loss eh? and so many money managers would say would say that's unacceptable eh? so you must sell today bitcoins eh? it's a way too big that position in your portfolio so please uh, you must sell now eh? so but that's not i believe the way to invest in bitcoin uh, you must, I, I have really dropped these ideas to balance your portfolio. I think it is, uh, it is uh, wrong thinking. Uh, I understand it. Eh? I have long promoted it, but I think it is wrong thinking because um, because um, because you cannot become considerably richer that way. If you do that, eh? you you. You, you cannot eh? uh, so you offer you, you you get a lot of security that way that's true but it's at the expense of becoming considerably richer eh? and so I don't want to make that trade-off eh? if you do then it makes sense but I don't want to do that eh? I want to eh, really um, increase my capital uh, dramatically with Bitcoin eh? and um, and for in, in that case you must hold on to your bitcoins and not sell too many eh, at the time and indeed you take the risk to lose most of your bitcoin gains when that, if bitcoin suddenly fails most of your bitcoin gains you will lose because only a, f a little bit you have locked in uh, into profit but uh, yeah that's okay for me eh? i know that if bitcoin goes to zero um today that um, instead of having 350 percent profit this year i will only have 50 percent profit huh? but that's still really good huh? for okay it's i will have lost eh, a lot of money but uh, a lot of value but uh, but still for me it's 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 acceptable so um yeah um that was it thanks for watching bye